Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Today we're going to be doing what's on my desk. So what's on my desk today is a digital from <laughs> Tracy Fox. I was going to say Rachel Fox, but it's not Rachel Fox. It's Tracy Fox of the Foxy Crafters. And um, today she's doing Creep on June with a number of other collaborators. And there's a video every day of people showing some makes they're doing for this Creep on June. And it came out as a result from her, from Tracy chatting to Corey Darman, who most, uh, most, most people know Tracy and Corey. And um, so I downloaded the digital, but I'm not a big fan of, you know, that spider webs, bats, and, and that kind of thing. So I downloaded it anyway, and and I've made some things uh, from the things they gave me, but I added some things that were sort of. Uh, that I felt that I could be used in a lot of other gems, and I made a mistake of doing these boxes in paper, and I think I should have done them out in card. So I'm going to have to work out a way that I can keep opening these boxes without ripping everything. So one of the digitals was to make a little was a little book, and I put one of the hours that come from the digital as well, and I just made a little booklet for that one that goes in that box there. I'm going to work out a way how to do that. There's nothing in that box yet. I'm going to put the, in the box, there's nothing in that box either. I'm going to use the box for different things. So I've covered over some of the spooky words because <laughs> I'm hopeless. <coughs> and I made these things. That <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, need a drink. Sorry. Something just got caught my throat. Sorry. So these are all from the digital. I didn't change any of those. They're just all the same. I did add um, this sort of said pain something or other. So I just put a number on it. Save that one. And these are little, little, little envelopes. So I decorated the front of them and I made them a little closure for them. And inside is a little, little tag so I just use what was in my stash to, to make these as well as the main digital cover that came from Tracy Fox's website which is love junk journals so I cover I decorate that one as well I love this pattern to see this box here it's beautiful isn't it so in this spot in this envelope I've got another little tag again I just use things I had in my stash that were not particularly creepy so I don't know if I can actually qualify for to put this up on my <laughs> as a hashtag creep on June because I'm not being very creepy. Just, uh, but I did use moths and uh, <clears throat> things like that. That one there. Because I did add things from my stash as well. And. Last one. I love this pattern as well. This little coin envelope. Is that a coin envelope? That, sh that sort of shape. And that one there. This is also from the digital. So all of these things are from the digital, like the metallic um, hinge and that sort of stuff. So I made it into a little tab. So that's that from that box. And because over here I need to work out because I need to work out a way of opening these without damaging the box. Might have to put a bit of something on the under there to strengthen it. Anyway, so I've got these tags in. I've still got some things left over from the kit. And these are all can be made into boxes as well. Don't I uh, did print some of them off twice and so I'm just going to use them for collage fodder. For these tags, I figured that I could um, <coughs> use them in, in a variety of different ways. So they've got different sizes here. There was like that. There's different sizes here. So we could do a mass make. What do you reckon? We could do a mass make. Is that the same size? Yeah. Let's do a three of each. Let's just start us. See how we go. I've got some things here from Witchcraft. You do some labels, some rulers, 
this comes from an old collection that I thought would match. So the, what I'm going to do is going to take some of these, these digitals and I'm going to cut them. So did I say thank you very much for joining me? I don't think I did. Sorry about that. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, it's a beautiful day. Really beautiful. We've been sitting outside a bit today out in our little courtyard area. It's just so beautiful. The sun is out. It's winter. It's supposed to be winter here. It's supposed to be cold, but it's not. Today has really been really warm and Saturday was really, with the warmest um, Saturday in 15 years or something or other. I think that's what it said. And today, I think they said it was going to be 23, but we think it's been a bit warmer than 23. It's just gorgeous. So I decided that with what's on my desk, because I'm not putting myself under pressure. <laughs> it might be every fortnight or every three weeks or something. We'll see. Especially since uh, I don't feel like doing very much at all. In July, we'll see. So we're going to cut this bit here in half. I'm a bit loath to cut that bit there. I do like the edge, so I might cut the edges off. I'll cut this middle bit here as a focal point. I feel like I'm losing my voice here, I don't know why. <coughs> Sorry, I think I need a bit more water. Sorry. Feels very um. Odd. My voice does. Very odd. So I'm going to cut this off as well to use. Labels. Always good to have labels. Valeriana. I'm sure it means something, but I don't know what. So if this interests you, check out um, there's a, check out the hashtag Creep Through June and uh, have a look on YouTube because there's a few people contributing to this this and uh, <clears throat> if you wanted to have a look at uh, this digital um, that's on like I said Doug Love Junk Journals which is Tracy's um, Etsy shop, so check me out. I feel like Molly Meldrum for those people who don't know. <laughs> I think most people know who Molly Meldrum is. Right, so even though I might use the edges here, I might put the bird. Anyway, let's get rid of my scrappy bits here. See how we go with these bits that I've cut off. Probably don't have them quite enough. I, do, I really do want to use this one as well, so I will cut this off as well. Big pardon, sorry. Oh, I tell you, this morning we had the yappy dog barking for hours this morning. And now the dog across the back is whining. Somebody said you've got to, like, the thing I said to you before, I think if you can complain to the council, you have to keep a log or something. It's a pain in the neck. So, I did fussy cut these before, but I tend to sort of, and I shouldn't really, because with digital, you don't really need to leave an edge, because most of them have got an edge. Oh, goodness sake. I don't know what's worse, the yappy dog yap, yapping all the time, or the big dog whining. Let's have a look. We've had a very successful morning this morning. Well, we didn't have a successful morning. We had the 
electrician came and um, fixed our sensor light out the front on the front porch so that's working and uh, now we've replaced our smoke lines do you know which we, we, we didn't know that you're supposed to replace your smoke alarm not the batteries the smoke alarm every 10 years we never knew that so anyway we've got the got them replaced and our down lights in the kitchen were uh, well, they were broken and uh, we weren't uh, Tony wasn't sure how to how to uh, replace them because he looked at the fitting and he thinking, well how am I going to get that out but, you know because it, it just looks like a different sort of because um, normally with light fittings you can just sort of unscrew them or whatever or pull them or something anyway this one particular so he, he replaced all those with some LEG, LEG, <laughs> LED lights. God, the difference they make, they're so bright. <laughs> Be good, because there was always a bit of a dark spot. Looks really good. And then you put the power point in, in, in the back wall of our uh, main living space, so that um, when it's, what I do with the other bit, I was going to put the other bit there, some of them. So when it's um, so when our chairs come, because we wanted to two two seater chairs that um, <clears throat> you know you, they're electric, you press the buttons and uh, the the legs come up, and we've got ones that've got support the lumbar and. The neck as well. And when I sat down on it, I think I think I've said told told you the story before. It just felt lovely. It felt so lovely. And Tony wasn't going to bother, and I said to him, "Why not? You know, what's the point of getting, just getting one? Really, it doesn't make sense to just get one. Because at the moment we've got our lounge. <coughs> he's got two seat, and I've got two seat, and they because yeah, we both got there's two living spaces in our house, and um, he." Thought that that would be fine, but um, it's going to because it's just going to leave the ones. And I said, "Well, why?" I said, "Because it's just we're getting older, tiny. <laughs> we're getting older, <laughs> you know. And we might as well get the ones that match." So he he decided to get one as well. I mean, because of they got electrical and the power point is on the right hand side we thought oh how those are going to work because of the only power points we've got are sort of because our couches were sort of in the middle of the, of the space kind of thing and uh, he would have to mean a cord running across the room somehow don't know how but so yeah so we've, we've <coughs> got that organized and uh, we did that and they said it was going to take for, you know, three or four hours, but he did it much quicker than that. It was good. Because like we talked about it, we said, well, we really haven't spent a lot of money, we, you know, on our house. We actually built this house that we live in now. We've actually built two houses. We had a house in Kapunda that we built, and that was 28, year, 28 years more, I think, when we moved from there. And uh, and uh, with this one, we just thought, well, we've got to live here for a bit longer yet, so not quite ready to downsize anymore just yet. I'll trim off all the bits and pieces at the end, kind of thing. So I had a market on the first Saturday of June, and I always take my journals, and uh, <clears throat> don't always necessarily sell any. Um, but this particular time, 
this is from Mustache. This is from Witchcraft You Do. One of the fellow store haulers we've been chatting for a while. Bought two of my journals. I said, are you sure? I said, you're not buying this because you feel sorry for me. <laughs> <coughs> so sorry. Coughing here. Then she said, no, no, I'm going to buy them for and give them as gifts. So it's very kind of her. Oh, I think so, anyway. So I just happened to take a picture and I thought oh, I'll just share it. And these are all the journals I took, I made kind of thing. This I took them to the market and then I was very lucky because one of the Facebook groups I belong to, one of the women wrote on my post, um, is the purple one still available? And I sent her a message back because you're not supposed to sell on this site by, f by messenger. And I <coughs> said to her, yes, I have still got some left. And then uh, she asked if I had another one for a little girl, which I thought, well, I've got a little golden book one. That would be, I think, would be suitable for a little girl. So she bought the two. So I've sold four journals in four days. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. Need some more of this. Will be my last market for a while because I won't be able to go to the June one because I'll be <coughs> sorry, not June, <laughs> July because that's when I'll be still recuperating. So it's straight actually. So I think mm, I won't be still in hospital, but just out of hospital probably. some of this this one here I don't know what it is but I, every time I, I, I know people use <coughs> glue stick but every time I use glue stick it just, this doesn't stay stuck for my liking so so that's why I'm using Nothing like that colour. It's a bit wishy washy, isn't it, really? Let's try this one. There's something, I don't know, something therapeutic, I think, about collaging and just playing and working out what can go where and. Fun. I have to laugh when I <clears throat> when I used to think about what well, why do people junk journal? What's the point? <laughs> why did I think like that? I've got no idea. Because it doesn't have to be at a point. It just has to be because you like doing it, Kay. And um I do. I love. I love. I love doing junk journaling. I love making things for junk journals. I love collaging and gluing and all sorts of different things. And the people in the community are so lovely. Happy to share their ideas and their knowledge, and it's just really lovely. I think. Off in there. Right, what 
else shall I use? We could just use that there and then put a hole in the... I was going to keep the whole thing, wasn't I, Kay? <coughs> I really feel like I'm losing my voice. It's just terrible. I might keep that bit for a rainy day, as they say. Might need some more. Might need some more. Thanks. This is um. I used it. This is a background that, that uh, comes in the kit, and I just cut it off to create one of my um, little tags that I made for the little pockets for the yeah for the coin pockets. Using stuff from my stash here. Could use some more. These are all from, oh, these are more little coin, 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 coin envelopes. Oh, no, are they coin envelopes or something? No, they're different. They're different, okay? Let's use one of those. Probably a lot of them. Um, let's try this one. The trouble is, it's got a round edge, which I'm not too sure how to incorporate, incorporate it really. That's good. That works. Scraps on the floor. It's not a good thing to do, really. But <clears throat> one little bit there. Why not? It doesn't matter if it goes over the other. Other bits you've already collaged. So, too much glue, okay. So I'm going to just trim these off and then I'll probably use some of the bits I've trimmed off on, the on my collaging that I'm doing here. So I was watching um, In Limbo, which is Channel 2 production and Australian production, and um, it's got Ryan Core in it, who used to be in Pact for Rafters, and quite like him. This is a very unusual, I thought it was, it was funny and sad and sort of a bit different. I'm not sad, but it talks about, you know, being stuck in limbo because you can't uh, cross over to the other side kind of thing. It sounds a bit morbid, but it's not. So, so if you want something to watch. 
check it out. Look at all these bits everywhere here, all these little tiny bits. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn you off for a bit because I've nearly finished and um, I don't know how to fast forward in the middle of a video. No idea. So anyway, I'm just going to turn you off for a minute and I'll finish off my uh, tags and I'll come back when i finished. See you in a minute. I am back. This is when I turned you off because it took forever because <laughs> I was being a bit fussy. Anyway, sometimes you wonder why you bother color collaging the whole thing because you end up putting stuff on top of it anyway to um, support your focal features, features. So I put this on top of this one here in the bird from my stash. And this one, these these are from Witchcraft You Do. Same as this one here. Birds are from my stash. The moth, these two moths are from... The kit, uh, Creep Through June, Creep to June, Creep Through June, uh, from Love Junk Journal's Tracy Fox. And um, these two are from die cuts that I had in my stash. And this is from the kit as well. So there's all my three, six tags that I've made today using mostly the kit from Creep Through, Creep to June, Creep Through June. Oh, God. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it right and put the hashtag on right properly. And um, anyways, mostly from that and a few things from witchcraft you do. So I'm really happy with the way they turned out. And um, they're not very creepy, but I'm creeping through by moths. Do birds and moths creep? Probably not. But I'm creeping through by using this kit. So anyway, I think that I love the colours. I just think it's great. So thank you for joining me today and like check out uh, Tracy's channel and all the other people doing through this uh, particular hashtag as well as um, uh, Tracy's uh, sh Etsy shop if you want to get the kit too. Thank you again for joining me and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.